friends welcome on to this youtube channel under the topic disaster management we see today about famine its causes impacts and how to ease its severity so get into this topic let's see about famine at a glance famine is a condition that arises due to long term and severe scarcity of food grains and water such condition is called famine are we responsible for the famine no doubt our greed our increasing demand and our improper deeds lead to the famine unlimited lifting of water erosion of soil improper use of water no doubt drought can be a main cause for famine that is low or no rain other cause include man made activities like absence of needed transport routes uncontrolled population growth internal unrest war etc also lead to famine condition so now let's see about disaster management there are two types of disasters namely man made and natural they are no doubt they are linked together some disasters can be prevented but during some disasters we must have to take some care some precautions due to rapid climatic changes the frequency and as well as intensity of natural disasters is also increased natural disasters such as famine lightning strikes cloud burst storms volcanoes tsunamis etc result due to climatic changes now let's see about in detail famine the condition that arises due to long term and severe scarcity of food grains and water is called famine as i already told you famines can be severe although the main cause of the famine is natural phenomena at we can say that famine condition is created by some human activities besides some natural events as well famine can be categorized as mild famine and severe famine now let's see about causes why do famine this occur drought or that is low or no rain would be the most important cause for famine second when non stop or torrential rain and floods due to which crops getting washed away or damaged climatic changes that is global warming or global cooling would be another reason damage of crops due to attack of pests insects locusts or deadly diseases damages caused by animals like mice rats etc another reason would be a natural calamity like earthquake storms cold fog etc man made causes of famine are war internal unrest uncontrolled population growth absence of needed transport routes etc no doubt would lead to this worst condition that is famine now it's unfortunate asia is named to the famine topic asia is the most famine affected continent of the world there are records of loss of life caused by severe famine in various parts of the world but asia has turned out to be the most famine affected continent of the world a measure of famine occurred in drought prone and flood affected regions among the most dreadful famines that have occurred in the world are the famine that affected india and china famine is not new it is found in in the past as well as in the history the problems of drinking water food and fodder for animals date back to the historic times as well chhatrapati shivaji maharaj Shahu Maharaj implemented many schemes to overcome the famines of the time. The water supply system and water storage schemes are ideal even in today's circumstances and we can make schemes like these to face future crises and disasters which will be of use not only in your own life but for the future but for the society at large. Malik Ambar was the name who implemented a canal scheme for drinking water in aurangabad it exists even today do you think that are we responsible for famine no doubt everybody should agree on this topic 
water shortage is increasing as the balance between rainfall and population is disturbed though there has been a very high rise in the production of food grains as a result of the green revolution the balance of the environment has been lost due to use of chemical fertilizers pesticides weedicides in excessive form unlimited lifting of water as earlier told in the introduction erosion of soil improper use of water no doubt we the man are responsible for this crucial famine what can we do to ease the severity of a famine planned uses of water and reusing of water proper planning of water conservation harvesting at the local level large scale plantation of trees and prevention of deforestation making appropriate changes and plans taking into account the weather forecast etc we can stop not stop but we can minimize its severity so friends thanks for watching this video this content and if you think it is useful to you please don't forget to like share and subscribe this channel thank you so much